Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I do a lot of indoor hydroponic growing on a very small scale and one of the most requested videos for me to do is how to mix hydroponic nutrients that I use for my plants. So today I'm going to cover two nutrients that I use most often and that is the Flora series by General Hydroponic and the Master Blend. I use the Flora series mainly for grown peppers because they have three separate parts and this allowed me to mix the nutrients that would fit according to the stages of my plants. And for the Master Blend, I use that mainly for leafy greens, they're excellent for leafy greens, lettuce, um, basils and stuff like that. So uh, today I'll show you how to mix both of them. We'll start with the General Hydroponic Flora series. I'll list out all the items you will need and I'll explain where to get them and then we'll go on to how to mix them. Uh, you need a bucket of water, pH down to adjust your pH level, the three parts flora series which is the micro, grow, and bloom. So you can get this at your local hydroponic store or you can go to Amazon and you can order it there. These can come in individual package or you can buy all three as a bundle. And I use cow mag as well for my peppers and that can be uh, purchased at the same places as well. A pH meter, uh, you can use pH strips if you like. A pH meter works best for me because it's easy. But you can use measuring spoons I don't recommend using this because it's, it's very messy to pour it out. So what I do is I use these. Uh, you can get this at CVS or Walgreen and they're very, very cheap and you can use this over and over again. It's a very precise measure and less of a mess. So I highly recommend you go and get one of this. And just another container of water so that we can rinse out this little measure each time we switch to the different parts. And then, this is optional, this is just my stirring stick, like that. PVC pipe from Home Depot. Alright, so that's basically all the items you will need. So we'll start by adding water to your bucket. Here I have four gallons, that's exactly how much I need to switch out all my plants. First thing I do is check pH when it comes out of your tap. My pH right out of the tap is usually around 7.8, something around there. You just need to use pH down to bring it down to a level of 5.9 to 6.5. That's the range that I usually keep the pH. So to speed up the video, I have already pH balanced the water. I'll check it for you real quick. So it's currently sitting at 6.4, which is fine because once I mix the nutrients, then I'm going to measure it again and then I will adjust it to exactly how I want it. Because once you add the pH down, it'll take a few minutes to adjust. So it will change once everything's settled. What I recommend is adjust your pH to about 6.4, 6.5, and then add all your nutrients and then measure it again once you're done. So do it twice. Here's my container of water. This is what I use to just rinse each time I switch from different parts of the nutrients. So the first one you will need is the micro. So shake it up really well and to speed up the video I've already done that. For the all-purpose mix you would do one part of each. One part would be five milliliter per gallon. You can just measure uh, one teaspoon and add it four times. So let's do that. See it pulls it in exactly as one teaspoon. So that's one. Two. Alright, so once you add the amount that you need with each part, you want to rinse it out really well. So clean that out. Then you want to mix this. You don't want to add nutrients one after the other immediately. So you just want to mix it really well. Let it settle. And I recommend waiting about two minutes 
before adding the next part. So the stirring process would be around that time. Okay, the next part we will need to add is the grow. And as I mentioned, we're doing an all-purpose mix so it's equal parts of, of everything. Alright, we just added our grow, so now stir it. Okay, and next up is our bloom. Make sure you clean this out really well. Alright, mix it up. Alright, so you're pretty much done with that. This is optional. You can add this if you like. If you grow fruiting plants like uh, tomatoes, peppers, it's good to add this when the plants is starting to bloom. My pepper plants are pretty much full size now so they will be pushing out buds very soon. So I'll add some of this. And you can play around with this and adjust as you wish. What I usually do is I'll use half strength of this for every gallon. For one gallon I'll use half of a teaspoon. So it's about 2.5 milliliter. So for four gallon I'll just use two teaspoon. It's always good to go less and then add more as you need. For hydroponic grow, especially if you're growing peppers, don't overfeed the plant. If you're unsure about how much to add, check the label. It'll, it'll tell you how much um, to feed your plants per stage. And that goes the same for the cow mag as well. It's always good to go less and then if you feel that the plant is uh, needing more, then add it as you go. Okay. We're pretty much done now, so let's just adjust our pH one more time. The water finally settled down and now it's sitting at 6.1, which is perfect, so uh, I don't have to do anything else. That's it, we're done with the general hydroponic floristry mix. To summarize, what you need is one part of each per gallon. One part equals to five milliliter. So you add one micro, one grow, and one bloom. And uh, for plants that are growing and are about to put out buds, then you add half strength of the uh, cow mag. So per gallon, do 2.5 milliliter. Okay, let's move on to the uh, master blend. Okay, for master blend, here are the items you will need. You will need the 41838, calcium nitrate, and Epsom salt. Uh, Epsom salt, you can purchase that at CVS or Walgreen, or you can just go on to the website. I purchased these on Morgan County Seeds. It's label of tomato formula, so if you go to Morgan County Seed, click on the link called the tomato formula, and you can find these. And you can buy it in one pound bag or five pounds. You also need a, a gallon of water, or however much you would like to mix, a gram scale. I use gram for these because it works best and of course the pH down. Optional, this is a container with warm water and the reason you should use warm water is because these dissolve much better in warm water and I'll show you that in a bit. For a one gallon, the all-purpose mix that I normally use is two to one, so basically two grams of each two grams of this, uh, 41838, two grams of calcium nitrate, and one gram of Epsom salt. And that's basically the all-purpose. Uh, I also use 332, and that works well as well. And for peppers, I normally use 332 per gallon. So today we'll just do a 332 mix. The scale works best when it's on a very flat surface. So make sure your surface is flat. I'll use, I'll use this container for measuring. So we'll need to put in 3 grams of 41838. Okay, so that's 3 gram there. Then I'll just add it to this container. Then make sure it's zero again. Then you add 3 grams of calcium nitrate. That's 3 gram there. Then I'll add it to here. Make sure we zero it. Then we'll add two grams of Epsom salt, magnesium sulfate. And 
and now what I normally do is just pour in some warm water and then use a spoon to just stir it up and with warm water it dissolved very quickly so now we're added our tar container close it up give it a good shake and then the final thing I do is I make sure the pH is exactly on point after it's settled so it's sitting at 6.0 so which is perfect and that is how I mix my master blend formula that's just how I normally do it you can do it different if you like most people would mix the 41838 first let it dissolve and then next with the calcium nitrate let it dissolve and then the Epsom salt and I just like to do it simple so I add it all into one container add some warm water mix it up and that's how I mix my formula so there's many different ways to do it this is just how I do it and uh, if you guys have any questions or comments or if you have suggestion please leave it below and thank you for watching